and welcome to my channel Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I currently weigh 263 pounds and on this channel I vlog daily plus every week I show you all of the food that I have in my household and what I've meal prepped for the week and we also grow microgreens together. Now we just finished eating on some organic fenugreek microgreens for the past three weeks. So we're going to plant some more microgreens on March 22nd, 2023. Feel free to get your seeds, your soil, and any type of a takeout dish such as these will do as far as what you can plant your microgreens in as long as it has a drainage hole or you can burn or poke a drainage hole in it and feel free to get any type of seeds that you would like to eat whether it be kale cauliflower broccoli fenugreek like we've been doing whatever type of seeds that you would like and now let's chit chat about absolute blessings some of us are really striving to stay on track with our health goals our new year's resolutions and so forth and when we are endeavoring to eat healthy when we say no to the candy bar when we tell ourselves that we're not going to eat just because we're emotional or because we're cold or because we're angry or because we're lonely. When we make positive health choices for ourselves, sometimes we may do it with a begrudging attitude or spirit. I know at times I feel like I want to misbehave. I feel like I want to go back to being gluttonous just for a moment. You know, let me just pig out on this. Let me just eat the meat that I've chosen to give up three months ago. I don't feel that way often, but those times do come. And what I do in order to prevent myself from going down that road is I remind myself of the negative consequences of those behaviors. I think about the people in my family who literally don't have teeth because of poor eating choices. I think about other people that I know who, for example, today, for participating in a meeting, I got a candy bar. I didn't want it. I asked who wants it. And someone that doesn't have teeth raised their hand. I gave it to him. I don't know all the circumstances behind why that person doesn't have teeth. Maybe it could be for other health reasons or whatever. Um, but when I'm tempted to go back to my former behaviors, I remind myself of the devastating consequences. When I feel sorrowful about the fact that I'm no longer able to enjoy the barbecue and the potato salad that comforted me throughout my life, I remind myself of how many of my family members, how many of my family members have gone through dialysis, have had toes, legs, plural legs, amputated. How many can I list off? Being on this journey is an absolute blessing because we have chosen to unveil the mask of deception and denial and stand courageously against gluttony, against slothfulness, against lackadaisicalness, against a lack of temperance that God wants his disciples to display. So when you're tempted to go back to whatever it is that is calling your name, that is sitting there sizzling and seducing you, 
You can choose one of my techniques, which is to remind yourself of the negative consequences of indulging in that, like being prone to crave it because they have addicting chemicals in there for you to crave it. That's been my experience with Oreo cookies. Or like with Lay's potato chips when they say you can't eat just one. I know, that's true. So, you can try some of the techniques that I offer here on this channel or you can come up with something that works for you. But I would like for you to have the mindset and for us to have the mindset that this journey is not a begrudging experience of denial and restriction. This is an absolute blessing. An opportunity to remove ourselves from a hospital bed or from metformin or from needing a caretaker is an absolute blessing. And that's all I have to say about that. Now, I would like to report to you that I have been successful with completing my 2023 health goals. For um, my breakfast, it did consist of 60 ounces of water plus four servings of raw vegetables and I did walk for an hour before going to work. And now I'd like to read to you, oh, and I'm completing these goals at 97% of the time. And now I'd like to read to you a poem that I have written. It's titled, Worship Me. Worship Me. I created you for a purpose. I made you from my heart. You're supposed to rely on me. Our relationship should never grow apart. There are many things that you seek and shall never find unless you allow your comfort to rest in the hands of the divine. The world is filled with pleasures, snares, and traps to lead you astray. Monitor your outlook on life. My words faithfully obey. I am not a decoration to be placed on top of your shelf. I am the force that controls the universe. In me only is there any wealth. Your opportunity for peace rests in me alone. There is no other substitute, no matter where you roam. Worship me. Thank you all so much for your time. I will see you later. Goodbye, and thanks for spending this time with me. See you later.